Hi there, my friends. Well, I just want to uh, say a little bit before you. Uh, I just want to say something before I start this video about the about the bomb or the the Second World War Museum in uh, Eholm Slot. Um, the sound in the video is quite low, and I apologize for that. But it is a thing. I don't know why, but it's like when I get into a museum like that, I lower my voice. And I try to raise the sound and the result is the beginning of the video is is very loud. And then the, the part of the video from inside the museum is still kind of low. I can't really do anything about it. I tried. Um, I hope it's okay with you guys, but uh, well... I think one of the reasons why I love my voice in a museum is well, there's other pe people around uh, watching things and stuff, but also it affects me, you know. As I said before, my granddad was part of the resistance movement in Denmark, and it it is just you know, um, yeah, it touched my heart when I see stuff like that, and and it's it's it's, it's tough on me, but uh, I want to go places like that because I believe we. Well, we need to, <laughs> we need to remember this. Um, so, anyway, I hope you uh, will enjoy watching the video anyway. So, uh, enjoy. Good morning, my friends. Well, we were actually going to a museum this Sunday, but uh, there's a market just outside the museum, so uh, we'll have a look at that first. All kinds of old stuff. Well, maybe I can find myself a bowl. <laughs> oh yeah, you could. Uh, skins for uh, yeah. The bowl. All well, quite pricey. Yeah. yeah. I paid thirty-five euros for mine. <laughs> nah. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, quite a bit more. Yeah. Where you buy them in in Holland somewhere? Yeah, oh. at the market. Okay. Yes. Or you order them on online. Uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. But, uh, a bit too fragile, I guess. Yeah, I don't it's want a, a, a breakable one. No, no, no. I want something. You could uh, reuse a flower pot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're just talking about these skins. They have curly leg, like uh, Maurice Zahun. <laughs> My stock <laughs> bow. Well, it's poodle skin. <laughs> Yeah, there's some nice old buildings, really. Yeah. Yes. It's like a hostel or something like that. Yeah. It's a beautiful building. Yes. It looks like a hostel mm. with the, the main house. I probably think they were hostel. There's a new cap for me. <laughs> 55 kroner. <laughs> yeah, it is. Start <laughs> <laughs> again. Start in my again. It's a private owned museum. Yeah, yeah. Ja, 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 ja. Ja, men ikke for Jo, for saten, du ser sgu da godt ud. Ja, tak for det. Det gør du også. Jeg har stået hele morgenen derude og blevet fotograferet på trappen. Indtil jeg opdagede, at det var pavfuglen, de fotograferede. Og jeg har stået der og gjort mig til. Og du troede lige. Og så var det den anden. Det var ikke mig. Well, we are at a World War II museum, and uh, well, I don't like what it stands for. 
It's a laughing SS uh, vehicle. Mercedes, of course. Beautiful, beautiful car. But, well. <coughs> Well, this year exhibition is about the concentration camp, and uh, over here, they say, no, they are explaining, explaining where all the camps were, all the concentration camps, and, and up here, see if they can, well, anyway, I can tell you, it's the yellow one is for Jews, it was the markings they had on their clothes, the yellow for the Jew, the pink for homosexual, political prisoner, the orange, uh, pacifist, the brown one, criminal, the green, and antisocial, the black one. And well, we all know what happened to a lot of the, or most of the Jews, and I guess a lot of the other people as well. It's horrible. It's a parachute, uh, shoot, uh, and it's uh, a third of, uh, of the size of the. Uh, the real one. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, my uh, they uh, they, uh, they flew uh, through across uh, the enemy lines and uh, and uh, and uh, could uh, and uh, and expand those all over the enemy lines and then uh, and then uh, the, they they were coming all uh, coming to to get them and to to shoot them down. And then uh, there were fireworks and uh, that, so so when they came, uh, came, ah, uh, there okay. were fireworks all over the place, and they, they were uh, so they were a distraction. Yeah, it was uh, a yeah. Yeah. Mm. My uh, my mom's youngest sister, she was baptized wearing a dress made from parachute, oh, British yeah, parachute. Yeah, yeah. You know, so <laughs> That's yeah, kind of, yeah, and that's there was actually soldiers in the church. There were Nazis in the church when it happened, and they had no idea that it was parachute fabric. <laughs> and well, they had plenty of parachute fabric from all the yeah, uh, things that you why, see. Why don't use it? Yeah, exactly. It was uh, the last uh, English uh, soldier from uh, Montgomery. Uh, uh, that were in the, in the, that were in uh, at war. <laughs> And uh, when uh, when the war was over, he uh, he took all his clothes off and uh, put them down and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, yeah. and uh, left. Yeah. <laughs> this poster illustrates the fourth of May, as I say, the day we were liberated from the Nazi. And uh, still, this day today, uh, a lot of people put lights in their windows, and so did I, in the Raven. So, there's a Harley Davidson motorcycle, MP motorcycle. And I guess this one right here is for the Africa Corps. Africa Corps, yeah. yeah. For that following. Actually, uh, this here over here, that's one of the containers that were dropped by our plane uh, with parachute. Um, and these were, this is similar to what my granddad would go into the fields and, and uh, pick up from the English airplanes when he was uh, in the resistance uh, uh, during the war. So this, this is the exact thing. And there so, were guns and uh, machine guns and uh, detonators and yeah. uh, all the, that uh, they were going to use. All they needed. Yeah. And also sometimes there would be a box of cigarettes or yeah. some chocolate and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Just as a, as a bonus for, and you see uh, actually explosives. And yeah, that was... Uh, this is uh, the illegal uh, press. Uh, oh yeah. For the illegal magazines. Yeah. Is this the actual press? The uh, yeah. Yeah. the amp use? Yeah. yeah. It is. Well, 
That was the end of the war museum in here. That was really, really interesting. And, and tough. Well, it's never pleasant to uh, see anything about war, but uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's a good thing that people make museums about this because we should never forget this. It's just uh, we need to remember so that uh, it doesn't happen again. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the the video and. Uh, I hope you have a nice weekend, you guys take care, and remember, life is good, bye bye.